Chinese J10C surges Chengdu stock price by 40% in days. On a tense night earlier this month, China's Chengdu J10C fighter jet, operated by the Pakistan Air Force, made its first ever appearance in combat, marking a pivotal moment for the aircraft and its manufacturer, Chengdu Aircraft Corporation. The jet's performance in a brief but high-stakes aerial engagement sent shockwaves through global defense markets, propelling the company's stock price upward by more than 40% in just days. This dramatic rise, reported by financial outlets like Bloomberg and Guru Focus, underscores a timeless truth in the defense industry, nothing advertises a weapon's worth like success in real-world combat. The J-10C's debut not only showcased its capabilities but also highlighted China's growing prowess in producing advanced military hardware, raising questions about the shifting dynamics of global air power. The J-10C, known as the Vigorous Dragon, is a single-engine, multi-role fighter designed to compete with Western counterparts like the American F-16 Fighting Falcon and France's Dassault Rafale. The J-10C variant, introduced around 2015, incorporates cutting-edge technologies that have positioned it as a formidable player in the 4.5-generation fighter category. Its combat debut on May 7, 2025, validated years of investment and development, drawing attention from defense analysts and investors alike. At the heart of the J-10C's appeal is its advanced avionics suite, anchored by an active electronically scanned array radar. This system allows the jet to detect and track multiple targets at long ranges, even in contested environments with heavy electronic jamming. The radar's precision, combined with the jet's ability to carry long-range air-to-air missiles like the PL-15, gives it a significant edge in beyond visual range engagements. The PL-15, with an estimated range exceeding 100 miles, is designed to outrange many Western missiles, making it a critical asset in modern air combat. The J-10C also integrates the shorter-range PL-10 missile, equipped with an imaging infrared seeker for close-in dogfights. These weapons, paired with the jet's digital fly-by-wire controls and canard delta wing configuration, provide exceptional maneuverability and versatility. The aircraft's internal armament includes a Gryazev Shipyanov GSH-23 twin-barrel cannon, mounted under the port side of the intake, for close-range engagements. The J-10C's propulsion system has been a focal point of both praise and scrutiny. Early J-10 variants relied on Russian-supplied AL-31 FN turbofan engines, but the J-10C has transitioned to the Chinese-made WS-10V engine. This domestically produced engine, with a thrust of approximately 32,000 pounds, offers improved reliability and reduced dependency on foreign suppliers. Some reports suggest the WS-10B incorporates stealth-enhancing features like serrated afterburner nozzles. The jet also incorporates stealth features, such as a diverterless supersonic inlet and radar-absorbent materials, though it is not a true stealth fighter like the American F-35 or China's own J-20. Compared to the F-16, the J-10C offers similar multi-role capabilities at a lower cost, with a price tag estimated at $40 to $50 million per unit, in contrast, the Rafale, which costs upwards of $100 million, boasts twin engines and a more robust electronic warfare suite but lacks the J-10C's affordability. This cost-effectiveness has made the J-10C attractive to nations like Pakistan, which acquired its first batch of 25 jets in 2022, with deliveries beginning in March of that year. The J-10C's combat debut occurred during a fleeting but intense aerial clash, where it reportedly engaged advanced Western aircraft. A U.S. intelligence source, cited anonymously in a Wikipedia entry updated on May 12, 2025, expressed high confidence that the J-10C was responsible for at least two kills, including a Rafale. The engagement, which lasted only hours, showcased the jet's ability to operate effectively in a high-threat environment, leveraging its ESA radar and long-range missiles to strike from a distance. This performance, reported by outlets like Nikkei Asia and Business Insider, sent Chengdu Aircraft Corporation stock soaring, with shares climbing from 59.23 yuan on May 6 to a peak of 88.88 yuan on May 9, a 50% increase in three days. The stock surge reflects a broader market reaction to the J-10CS battlefield validation. Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, founded in 1958 as the National 132nd Factory, has long been a cornerstone of China's military-industrial complex. The company's portfolio includes not only the J-10 but also the JF-17 Thunder, co-developed with Pakistan, and the stealthy J-20 fighter. The J-10C's success has bolstered investor confidence in Chengdu's ability to produce world-class aircraft, 
particularly for export markets. Pakistan, which accounts for over 60% of China's arms exports between 2020 and 2024, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, is the largest buyer of Chinese military hardware. The J-10CS performance has sparked interest from other nations, with Egypt, Algeria, and Saudi Arabia reportedly engaging in talks to acquire the jet, as noted in a 2024 National Interest article. Historically, combat success has often translated into market gains for defense manufacturers. The American F-15 Eagle, for instance, saw a surge in orders after its dominant performance in the 1982 Lebanon War, where it achieved numerous kills without a single loss. Similarly, the F-16's reputation was cemented during Operation Desert Storm in 1991, leading to decades of export success. The J-10CS recent engagement follows this pattern, with its ability to engage and reportedly defeat advanced Western aircraft like the Rafale sending a clear message to potential buyers. The Rafale, a twin-engine fighter introduced by the French Navy in 2001, is renowned for its versatility and advanced electronic systems. Its reported losses in this engagement, though contested by Indian officials, have raised questions about its performance against cost-effective alternatives like the J-10C. The financial market's response was swift and decisive. While Chengdu shares skyrocketed, Dassa Aviation, the Rafale's manufacturer, saw its stock decline by over 5% on May 7. This contrast highlights the high stakes of modern air combat, where battlefield outcomes can reshape perceptions of technological superiority. Defense analysts, including Yang Zi from the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies, have noted that the J-10CS success serves as a positive testament to the quality of Chinese-made arms. The jet's ability to compete with Western platforms underscores China's rapid advancements in aerospace technology, a trend that has been evident since the J-10's maiden flight nearly three decades ago. Beyond the financial implications, the J-10CS combat debut has geopolitical ramifications. China's defense industry has been aggressively modernizing, with investments in fifth-generation fighters like the J-20 and advanced munitions like the PL-15. The J-10CS performance strengthens China's position as a major arms supplier, challenging the dominance of traditional exporters like the United States, Russia, and France. For nations with limited defense budgets, the J-10C offers a compelling alternative to Western jets, combining modern capabilities with affordability. This appeal was evident at the 2024 Dubai Air Show, where China's August 1st aerobatics team showcased the J-10C to attract international buyers. The engagement also highlighted the evolving nature of air combat, where advanced sensors and long-range missiles are increasingly decisive. The J-10CS ESA radar and PL-15 missiles allowed it to engage targets from beyond visual range, a tactic that aligns with global trends toward network-centric warfare. In exercises from 2019 to 2021, the J-10C reportedly outperformed Russia's Su-35 and China's own J-16, demonstrating its ability to detect and engage targets before being detected itself. These simulated victories, combined with its real-world success, suggest that the J-10C is well-suited to modern air combat's demands.